Okay, so my brows are obviously already on and I already moisturized my skin and I primed my eyes with some concealer and set them with a powder that's close to my skin tone. So now I am going to start with my eyes. So I recently picked this up. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette. It has obviously a bunch of bright colors and I thought we could play with that today that palette doesn't really have any like transition shades I am going to be going in with my Kat Von D shade plus light palette I'm gonna start off by taking this shade right here which is just a nice neutral brown and on a Sigma diffused crease brush I'm going to put this all throughout the crease as our transition shade I'm going to start going in with this palette to start by going in with the yellow with this Makeup Geek defined crease brush. I'm just going to focus this kind of below that brown in the crease just to add a bit of dimension in there. And then with a clean, fluffy blending brush, this is a Sigma E40. I'm just going to go over that just to make sure everything is nice and blended. I want to play with this color. It's like a nice teal, kind of like a bright pastel-y teal. And I'm going to take this on a Luxie 207. This is like an angled shading brush and I'm start going to start focusing this on the outer part of my eye and kind of build it into the crease but really focusing it on that outer corner I need to oh look it makes green blue and yellow makes green I feel like I'm in kindergarten <laughs> It's actually kind of really funny that I, I didn't I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Where are we going to go from here? Since we already have just green happening, I'm gonna go in with this green. And I'm just going to pop this into my crease. And now with our original fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend the edges. I think I'm gonna go into this blue like a nice like aqua ocean blue. This is a Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. I'm just going to pick up that blue, place that on the outer part of my eye. Just like so. Just with that um, like blending brush that we used to just blend all of the colors, I'm going to lightly just blend over everything. What I want to do is hop on into my Kathleen Lights um, collaboration with Morphe. I'm just going to be taking this really pretty like 
I don't even know how to describe it, but it's green. <laughs> so take this on a flat little brush. with my finger yeah that's a lot more pigment I'm gonna go back into the yellow that we used earlier and then I want to take more of that really nice like aqua blue And then I'm just going to take a bit of the green that we used. So I kind of just want to cover the, <laughs> the yellow. So I'm going to be using my trusty little Schwing Liner by The Bomb. I use this in almost every single video. I'm actually going to do this off camera just because I have to get really close to the mirror. Um, but I will be right back to finish up the rest of my face. Okay, so eyeliner is on, and now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I'm just going to go in with my primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the original one. This is oil-free, and I'm just going to take a bit of this and kind of just like work this into my T-zone area. I'm just gonna wait a minute for my primer to set in and then we will move on with foundation. So I'm gonna go with my NARS Sheer Glow. This is in the shade Light 3 Gobi. And I've been using this, this is like my third time using it and I really like it. So I am really excited to use this today. I'm just going to take a couple of pumps. Oh, by the way, I bought this NARS pump from Nordstrom because it does not come with a pump, which was really annoying. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pounce this into my skin. For concealer, I'm going in with my Catrice concealer. Pretty sure I used this in my last tutorial. So sorry, but I can't stop. It is really good. And I'm just going to go under my eyes in like a triangle just because we're using this to highlight as well. I'm gonna blend this out first before it dries. I'm gonna try blending this in with my crown brush. It's a small contour brush, but I thought it was like the perfect size to blend concealer. And I was right. To set my under eyes I'm going to go in with my makeup revolution contouring palette and I'm going to take the banana shade and I'm gonna mix it with like this like peachy shade now I am going to take my concealer and just go down my nose My Cupid's bow, chin, a little help right there, got a little zit, and a little bit on my forehead, just a touch. And with this, I'm actually gonna diffuse my beauty blender. Now I'm just going to set 
the rest of my face using the Wet n Wild pressed powder. Mine is in the shade Warm Light. I'm going to be taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, one of my faves. And I'm taking this um, Zoeva Lux Face Definer brush. And I'm just going to warm up the outsides of my face. This is not contouring, just warming it up. I'm going to contour using this little mini. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soule. That is what that looks like. I'm going to use this on a little brush. My Real Techniques contouring brush. On the lower lash line, I I kind of want to do like a little twist, if you will, <laughs> which I don't know how this is going to go, but I kind of want to put this lavender like up against my lower lash line. I'm not sure how this will look, um, but I'm, I'm intrigued by this color and I really want to do it, so we're going to do it. And I'm just going to place this really close up against the root of my lashes. Personally, I'm going to skip lashes um, just because, I don't know, I don't feel like it really needs it, um, but by all means, if you love false lashes, then now would be the time to apply them. I'm going to apply mascara. This is the um, Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. <laughs> literally all I could think about when I saw this mascara name. <laughs> Alright, I'm definitely going to have to play around with that a little more, but for the time being, I'm going with my tried and true, my Tardist mascara, just to really amp up these lashes. Um, okay. So I'm going to put some of the mi uh, mixy, the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara on my lower lashes because this is my fave. So now for blush, I'm going to go in with Tarte's Exposed Blush. For highlighter, I am so excited. I finally have Ofra Rodeo Drive. I got this in my Boxy Charm this month, which is incredible because this is so expensive for what it is. Um, I honestly think it's overpriced, but it was in my Boxy Charm, so that is incredible. I thought it was going to be like too dark for my skin, but it actually works really nicely. Not subtle in the slightest. We are almost done. I am going to set my face using the Wet n Wild setting spray. And while that's still wet, because I am so extra, I am just going to re revamp, reamplify my highlight. Because I like it. So I think today I'm going to use Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this with the Aquarius 2 um, Matte Liquid Lip by um, Colourpop. 
couldn't think of the name. So yeah guys, this is the completed look. I really love it. Yeah, I'm gonna go change out of my um, cat hoodie and I'll be right back to wrap up this video for you guys. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me create this look. I had a lot of fun creating it today for you. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos from me, I would love to have you back. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!